stories for bedtime. And car time. And play time. And any time you want to hear how much Jesus loves you in all this world. Even little birds. Hi. I am Pastor Sarah at St. Paul Lutheran Church in Davenport, Iowa. Welcome to this podcast where we tell stories, stories told just for kids and kids at heart. Every week we tell a story about Jesus from the Bible. And for this podcast, you need to bring your imagination. We're going to imagine that there was a little bird in all of those Bible stories, a little bird who was friends with Jesus, a little bird who saw all the stuff Jesus did and heard all the things Jesus said. Hello there, podcast friends. These last few weeks, we've been telling stories that Jesus told to his friends. These stories are called parables, and they help us to understand God and God's great big dream of love for the world. Today, we're going to hear one more story, a story that teaches us how we can live in the world and where we can find Jesus if we have eyes to see and hearts that love. So here it is, season two, episode 12. Little Bird and Jesus tell the story of the sheep and goats. One day, Little Bird, Jesus, and the rest of the friends were walking through a busy town. The crowds of people were rushing here and there, talking with their families, getting their wares to market, trying to get their daily business done. Right in the middle of that town, Jesus found a place to sit down and rest a bit. They had been walking for a long time that day, and his feet were tired. Little Bird was glad to stop, too. Her wings were worn out by flying so much. Jesus' friends went off to find some food to eat and some cold water to drink, leaving Little Bird alone with Jesus. And like they often did, they just sat there, watching people rush around. Little Bird said to her best friend, It's funny, Jesus. Nobody here seems to recognize you. Usually there are all sorts of people trying to be close to you and learn from you. Jesus nodded. It's true. They'll figure it out eventually, but until then, I don't mind being a little bit unknown. But I've got an idea, little bird. Do you want to play I Spy? Yes, I'd love to play I Spy, she said. I'll go first. Little bird looked around until she spotted something. I spy with my little eye something that is brown. Hmm, there's a lot of stuff that's brown, Jesus said. Is it that tree trunk? Little bird shook her head. How about that woman's basket over there? No. Or that pile of rocks? Still no. Hmm, Jesus thought. Is it those loaves of bread? In the basket that woman is carrying? Little bird tweeted out aloud, yes! You've got it! The two of them watched as the woman walked down the street with her big basket of bread in her arms. While they walked, two young children with thin robes that were dirty and worn out, bare dirty feet, came up to the woman. They said, hello, we haven't eaten for days. We're so hungry. Can we have some bread? But the woman gave them a frown and pushed them away. Go away, she said. I don't have enough for you. This is to sell at the market. I don't have enough to share. And then she kept walking away from the children in a great big huff. Little Bird and Jesus looked so sad as they watched. Jesus looked kind of angry. Those poor kids with empty bellies and the woman with so much bread. It was so unkind and unfair. Jesus shook his head sadly. But then he noticed something, and he said to Little Bird, 
I spy with my little eye something that is blue. Little bird looked around. The sky? Jesus smiled. No, little bird, it's too obvious. Keep looking. And then little bird saw what Jesus noticed. It was another woman wearing a long, bright blue apron over her otherwise dull clothes. She was talking with that woman with the big basket of bread. The woman with the blue apron reached into the pocket of her apron and pulled out a small coin and gave it to the baker woman, who took it greedily and then handed to the other woman two small loaves of bread. And she carefully put those loaves into her own basket. That's it, Little Bird said. You are looking at the woman with the blue apron. Yes, Jesus said. Now let's see what she does. So Little Bird and Jesus watched as the woman looked around. And then she saw them, the two hungry children, squatting sadly on the side of the road. The woman went to them and she knelt down beside them and reached into her basket. And with a big smile on her face, she gave them each a loaf of bread. Their eyes got so wide in surprise and they smiled huge smiles. Right away, they tore off a big chunk of the bread and took big, happy, hungry bites. With their mouths full, Little Bird could see them say, thank you. And with a smile of kindness, the woman said goodbye and made her way off into the crowd until that bright blue apron was lost among all the other people. Jesus smiled as he watched those children eat the bread they'd been given, and then he looked at Little Bird with a twinkle in his eyes and said, Little Bird, that woman, the one with the blue apron, she recognized me. Little Bird was confused. The woman didn't even notice that Jesus was sitting there. She never even glanced their way much less did anything that would demonstrate that she recognized that Jesus was who he said he was. What do you mean, Jesus? she asked. Jesus smiled. She fed those hungry kids. And whenever anyone feeds someone who is hungry, it's like they are feeding me. When people show love to one another, it's like they are loving me. She must have seen those kids as carrying God's own image, God's own self. And so because of that, she saw them and she showed them mercy and care. Oh, Little Bird said, it's like that story you told, the one about the sheep and the goats. Can you tell that story again while we wait for our friends? Yes, Jesus said. I'd love to. I love telling stories. Here it goes. In those last days, all the people of the world will be sorted into two groups. Some of them are like sheep who have followed me, the great shepherd, and the others, they're kind of like goats. And on that day, I will say to those people who followed me, the sheep, you are blessed. You are the ones who followed me who helped make my dream of love and life become real in the world. I was hungry, and you fed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was homeless, and you gave me a safe place to stay. I was cold and naked, and you gave me clothes. I was sick and alone, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you helped me to be free. But the people, the ones called sheep, said, But Jesus, when did we see you hungry? When were you thirsty or homeless or in prison? I don't remember even seeing you in those situations. How could this be? Jesus said, Truly I tell you, whatever you do to the least of these, you do to me. Every time you show mercy and kindness, care and love to another person, It's like you are doing that for me. But to those others, the people who are called goats, Jesus said to them, The rest of you, you missed out on the goodness and joy of my great dream in the world. I was hungry, and you refused to share. 
I was thirsty and you didn't care. I was homeless and you turned away from me. I was cold and naked and you ignored me. I was sick and alone and you did not notice. I was in prison and you left me to die. But the people, the ones called goats, said, Jesus, when did we see you hungry? When were you thirsty or homeless or in prison? I don't ever remember seeing you in those situations. How could this be? And Jesus said, I was there in every one of those people, but you did not show them or me any love or any compassion. After Jesus finished the story, Little Bird looked up at Jesus. His eyes were so sad, thinking about the ways that sometimes people treated each other. Nothing made Jesus sadder than when people didn't love each other when they didn't care for each other and show each other the kindness that everyone deserved. He loved this world so much. But then Jesus smiled and said to Little Bird, I know these humans will figure it out. I'll keep showing them how to love, with love bigger and more amazing than they've ever seen. And even if they forget sometimes, I won't give up on them. I believe in these creatures I made. Hey, hey, look, little bird, I spy with my little eye something that is red. She looked all around, and there with those same little boys was a man who was pulling out of his bag two clean, brand new red robes. They were small, just the right size for those little ones. They tried them on and wrapped the robes around themselves, cozy and so happy. Little Bird looked at Jesus, who was smiling with such pride, and she said, It looks like that man recognized you, too. Well, that was another great story from Jesus, wasn't it? Maybe this week... You can play I spy with someone in your family. Look for something red or green or blue and then have that person guess what it is. And just for fun, you can say, I spy with my little eye, Jesus. And then you can point out that every single person you see, every single person you see is Jesus because every person carries in them the image of Jesus especially people who are hurting or lonely or in need. So this week, try to find some ways that you can live with generosity and care for people who really need it. Go to the grocery store and get some food to share with the food pantry or buy some nice clean and warm socks or and gloves to share with people as the winter goes on or serve a meal somewhere. There's a lot of ways to show love and care to God's people just like that woman in our story with the blue apron. Oh, and one more thing. It's almost December, and Jesus' birthday is just around the corner. And so we're going to be replaying the first episodes of Little Bird, the ones that tell about Jesus and his birth, starting with Mary when she heard about how she was going to have a baby. So in preparation for Christmas, tune back in next week to hear those stories again. They're good ones. It's always so fun to spend this time with you. Thanks for listening to this episode of Little Bird and Jesus. Now flap your little wings. Sing a little song. And remember that to Jesus, you, you will always belong. Thanks for listening to Little Bird and Jesus, a podcast of St. Paul Lutheran Church in Davenport, Iowa. For more information on St. Paul, visit us at stpaulqc.org.